Hey guys, it's Mario here, back with a training update. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and the main reason for that is because I was traveling a lot, I moved to more than four countries in the last month and a half, which made it a little bit difficult to do a training update, and I finally got a chance to do one here in Plaza del Carmen in Mexico from a place called The Gym. So this gym is actually named The Gym, which is very interesting, and it's a good place to train. I finally found a place that has a really good power rack and all that, I mean, last month and a half, that was a little bit of a challenge and um, finally got a place where I can actually film videos as well, which is kind of exciting because I can keep you guys updated on my training and my training has changed a lot in the last couple of months and I've been doing lean gaining for about a month. Before that, I was in a maintenance phase for a couple of weeks and that means that I'm no longer focused on getting shredded. So I'm no longer focused on that calorie deficit that I was for about six months that I did a really long cut, I leaned down to very, very low body fat percentages, and that allowed me now to enter a lean gaining phase where I can stay for a longer period of time. So in terms of diet, I mean, my lean gaining is around 3,000 calories. At that point, I'm gaining that amount of muscle mass, at least for now, that I feel like is in um, alignment with my genetic potential and how much I should be gaining because obviously uh, the, the point of the lean gaining phase is to, to maximize muscle growth while minimizing uh, fat gain, so that's one thing that I'm doing here. In terms of training, the training has changed and I'm now doing full body sessions every day of the week. I'm hitting every muscle group every single day. So there's three different types of workouts that I'm doing, workout A, B, C. The workouts all, as I said, hit all the muscle groups and I just simply do A, B, C, A, B, C and like that. And then I have a Sunday typically, which is my rest day, where I do a protein modified fast in terms of uh, the diet and for the uh, exercise, I don't do anything on that day except a little bit of walking. So here you're gonna see the workout B. And for the workout B, I filmed the first set of each movement. So that's the quote unquote PR set. As what I'm currently doing right now, something similar, I guess, to reverse pyramid training, but it's not really reverse pyramid training. I mean, the only similarity is that you go for the PR on the first uh, set, but that's the only uh, similarity. Aside from that, I mean, I keep the weight the same for the other sets and then I try to do the best I can for as many reps as I can. But the first set, as you can see here, I mean, this is the PR quote unquote set. This set is going in weight every single time I step in a gym. So every single time I step in a gym, this first set for every exercise is going to be an increased weight if I've managed to hit my rep target. So my rep target here, as you can see with these uh, Bulgarian split squats, seven, right? So I'm doing uh, 95 pound dumbbells, so it's quite heavy. And this movement is killer, so I actually take rest between each side. That's uh, one thing for unilateral movements now that I'm doing is I'm taking rest because I don't want to sacrifice volume uh, for that, uh, I, I guess just for a little bit more convenience where I have the time, I'm gonna do one leg and do one side and I'm gonna do the other side and that's giving each side the focus and the attention it requires to grow. So I'm doing these, I mean, they're quite heavy, but I did manage to get seven reps. That means that next time I'm up with dumbbells to 100, 100 pounds, right? So changing itself from kilos to pounds was a little bit difficult in the beginning, especially when it comes to dumbbells, when it comes to general weight. Because uh, calculation is when you do it in kilos for let's say almost a year for me, uh, then now I'm switching back. The last time I had to deal with pounds was in Canada back in October. Uh, last year, so now switching back to pounds is was like a little bit difficult to adjust. Aside from that, I mean, with the training plan, what is really, really important, what is a little bit different here is that each workout, it has um, a, an exercise for each body part. So it's really a full body, and here you see that I'm doing the overhead press right after the Bulgarian split squats. I wasn't really happy with the overhead press here. I did implement a, a zero tolerance for a bad form on um, overhead press, which uh, actually reduce the amount of reps that I can do because now it, it seems that it's influencing my breathing, which is something I'm working on, and I kind of run out of breath. And then it, when I have to re-tighten up, when I have to retake the breath, it becomes really difficult. So that's something I'm working on. Chin-ups are going pretty well. This is more than 70 pounds on uh, the chin-ups. I'm doing six reps as a target here. For the overhead press, the 10 reps is a target, so I'm probably gonna have to go again with 135 pounds to try to hit that 10. Actually, last week I did 10, and now I couldn't repeat the same effort, but I wasn't happy with the uh, form that I got last week for the 10 reps on the overhead press, so now I'm repeating the same weight for the same amount of reps and to get the form. Similarly, for the chin-up, I'm probably gonna repeat the weight until I get the form a little bit more uh, 
in tune with what I imagine um, it to be, but this is pretty solid. I mean, it's very, very heavy weights, heavy loads, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, here, I'm gonna be doing the 45 degree hip extension. The key with this movement is what I see a lot of guys making a mistake is they try to do the movement with their lower back. This movement is a pure hip movement. So you basically like push the hips as much as you can into this uh, padding here that you see on the machine. And while you hold the dumbbell in just, I guess a, uh, somewhere between your your head and your, and your chest, somewhere around the neck area as much as you can. I mean, this is 110, uh, I believe, dumbbell or 100 pound dumbbell, which is uh, quite heavy as well. But if you get, I mean, this movement is fantastic for the hips and for the glutes. Here I'm doing something called the Bayesian fly. So this is um, a movement that is a fantastic movement for chest, for getting that really good contraction throughout the whole range of motion. I feel like this is one, I mean, becoming one of my most favorite movements for the chest. And it's a little bit difficult to set up if you don't have the bench near a cable pulley in your gym, but it is actually a, an amazing movement that I would definitely recommend you to give it a try. And as you can see here, this is what I'm doing. I'm hopefully being able to put out all the other um, workout types so you can see what workout A and C looks like. Some of them have, I mean, someone has squats, the other one has Romanian deadlifts. And here I'm doing the uh, overhead extension for the tricep. And this is actually a movement where I need to work on my form the most. I think that a, a couple of reps there, I mean, one or two reps I'm not really happy with. Sometimes even a little bit more depending on the weight. So now I went up with weights and instantly I can feel it. So this is about 30 pounds on each side with this uh, cable machine as well, which is a new cable machine compared to what I'm used to. And uh, this cable machine has uh, more increments available so I can actually progress a little bit more. And that's one key thing. And with changing the gyms, I mean, changing any environment is, is very, very difficult in a sense of psychologically you're not feeling at home, which instantly means that you you have to reduce the weights. With some people, they actually feel like they can do more weights in a new gym. For me, it takes a few weeks to get into it, so my weights are, are going down compared to what I did in Latvia before this and in Norway before that. So certain people respond in a different ways, so that, that's something that you have to kind of live with and just be patient with yourself and allow yourself to get back into the groove. And now I'm getting back into the groove and the weights are going up again and I'm gonna slowly work on my form, adjust to the new weights, the new machines, and all of that. And this is my training update for you guys. I'm gonna keep you posted on what's going on in the lean gaining phase. I'm pretty excited, finally, no more food obsession. I can finally focus on building muscle, and that's the primary goal for me. And I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what are you guys up to? And aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.